Hi, I'm Martin from Multipipe. Now here at Multipipe, we are really like you to do a, a bespoke design for your underfloor heating system. And to allow us to do that, there's some real simple information that we need. First and foremost, a scaled set of drawings is critical for allow us to get the correct dimensions for the rooms and to work from. But adding to those scaled set of drawings, some simple information is what's required. Floor construction will determine how the best way is to install those underfloor heating pipes within the floor. Heat source. Now there are varying heat sources and underfloor heating will work with all traditional heat sources, gas and oil, but modern technologies like heat pumps work really well with underfloor heating. And if you are working with a heat source like an air source or a ground source heat pump, it's important that we know what the flow temperature is leaving that particular unit. You will find though, if you've been quoted for a gas or oil boiler to work with underfloor heating, that water temperature control will be included in your, in your quotation. However, if you decide it's a low temperature heat pump, you'll find that we'll just include just the manifolds only. Now the control type, with what thermostats you like, whether you prefer wired, a hard wire back from the manifold to each thermostat, or wireless. Again, lots of flexibility for those different types of systems. But the point I wanna talk about a lot today is manifold location. Now the manifold is where all the underfloor heating circuits return back to. And we have a simple rule of thumb, the more central that manifold location can be, the more economical the installation and easier the installation can be, both for material costs, but also for ease of installations. Don't forget you can take underfloor heating circuits through walls rather than going through doorways if needed, or don't forget to sleeve that pipe as it goes through a wall. But by, by looking at centralizing that manifold within those locations can really have a big influence. Now, if you're unsure where to put it, give us a call. We'll always decide and give you best practice where to install that manifold, but it can have such a big influence on the ease and installation practices of what you're gonna work for. Finally, we've mentioned this on previous videos. If you've got the heat losses, great, please send this to us. And also floor coverings. Again, different floor coverings react differently and have a big influence on the performance of your underfloor heating. I hope you found this quite interesting and in how to design your underfloor heating. Don't forget to like us and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you again.